The year was 2014. Cameroon had just been given the opportunity to host the Africa Cup of Nations five years later. Back then, the country was filled with optimism and ambition. In Yaoundé, we will have the Paul Villa Stadium. It will have 60,000 seats. It respects all the standards of the African Football Federation. In Douala, the stadium can welcome 50,000 spectators. But construction was slow to start and remained sluggish for years. And a guerrilla war between separatists and government forces cast a cloud of doubt over whether Cameroon would be able to host the event. Less than seven months before the start of the competition, the country was stripped of its hosting rights, leaving a nation shell-shocked and entrepreneurs reeling. We're very disappointed to see that the African Nations Cup will not take place here. We invested a lot and I had sleepless nights. The hotel renovation costs us 9 billion Central African francs, and of course we would not have been able to profit in the first month, but the hotel would have gained visibility among tourists in Cameroon. Cameroon would have to bide its time, the Confederation of African Football telling the country it could host the 2021 edition. But then came the pandemic. As the world shut down, the Confederation stepped in and made the decision to postpone the event to early 2022. For months, rumors of another postponement were rife. Threats by the European Club Association not to release African players for the Cup sent officials into panic mode, and the lightning spread of the Omicron variant forced organizers to introduce new rules, such as requiring all spectators to be fully vaccinated and tested. As for the actual infrastructure, the Olembe Stadium was still receiving its finishing touches in the final days of 2021, making this Africa Cup of Nations a nail-biter before it even begins.